Well, it seems to be a run on these toolboxes. I uh, have another one came in. This one has a cloth covering and it has a texture to it like a shark skin. Although it is fabric, because you can see the fabric where I can glue that down probably. This should have pegs that go in here. There's a little track for it to slide back. This, as usual, doesn't work so good. It needs cleaned out. I'll put felt back here. Maybe glue that down a little bit. I'm just going to use some dark stain to make it look better. And as you can see, maybe there are hundreds if not thousands of paint spots. So I may have to pick those off hand by hand. Although he didn't ask me to do anything to the finish, I'm not sure I can turn it back in like that. It appears to be locked. There's felt in that. Oh, there's tin bottom. It is felt, but it's not glued. I may switch that felt out for some better fitting and glue that in. It is a Gerstner, which is a good brand. Or you can take the two latches on the side and open it. Looky there. More felt. Not very well done. They made a little attempt. A little damage on the bottom. I'll glue that back down first. Now that this is up, see these pins raise. Now these pins are up. So this should, in effect, if those pins were out far enough, drop in. And when this is closed, Should latch, but it's wore out. So I'm not sure how I can fix that yet. But I'll look at it carefully. Put some felt down here just to. Uh, Keep it from scratching the door when it slides in. So let's do a test. Let's see if I can loosen up. I think those. a razor blade would be a little bit of a good place to start. Those uh, paint spots. If I can loosen the finish underneath it and then very carefully poke at them. They might just pop right off. Still a lot of labor, but... I'm not sure that... Again, it's money. some four out steel wool will just rub the surface enough to nope. that didn't work it must have soaked right into that fabric the only other option stick out like stars in the night when I wet them. Just wish they would rub off like 
I want them to. <laughs> when the when the finish is wet. is a originally covered box because it is not made of oak. It is made of pine, poplar, plywood, and tin. Baits is what he keeps in here. Cool ones too. So this case is supposed to be permanently attached. This door. I could replace it with a similar pin. And I may have to. So to make these stay in, when this goes down, there's two pins that drop here. This pin goes down and pushes through spring loop. And that little pin comes out. So there's holes here to hold those to secure the case when you lock this. The drawers aren't in, so it's going to fall back a little further. So these are wore out. So I found an old hinge. It's got a nice rusty-ish patina. What I'm going to do is cut the hinge pin out and install those like that. And with that patina, I think that will manage to look somewhat original visually. We know it's not, but there's no other way that I can think of to repair that and not look like an honest repair from use. So, Okay, so I managed to cut those down. They got a nice patina. A little raggedy looking like the rest of the box. So what I'm going to do now is pre-drill the holes where they'll go. And yes, I know the parts aren't perfectly straight. Yes, it is an engineer's box, but that doesn't mean an engineer did a repair. So, given the tools and the materials I have, there wasn't a lot else I could do. My first thought was to drill both holes and then put both screws in. Then I wisely got to thinking, there's a slim chance the hole might not line up perfect. Okay. Now, if my plan does not go awry, <laughs> this will go like this, stop on the drawers. This will go down, latch. Okay. Now I'm going to use some of this ugly old felt. And it is going to just be a glide path over the door. Now, won't make it slide straight, but I'll feel better. Okay. To do felt. If you want to see me do felt, go back to uh, some of my other first box video and uh, you can watch it be done. There's no reason to bore everyone with it again. I'll be back when it's finished. One's white, this one's modeled, so I'm going to probably get in trouble only because. The possibility of costing too much money, but I cut my costs to make it look right, than to give it back to him in this condition.
won't take me that long to make this look more presentable. What I'm going to do is reactivate the existing finish. You probably have heard me say that before. And spread it around, keeping the original color, but getting rid of that blotchy where some of it's fallen off. So I'll balance all the colors together. Get these to soak in. So all I do is scrub this on until it reactivates. That's assuming nobody else has put anything on it. It is taking a little longer than normally, although I see some movement now. Get some more wet up here. There it goes. You see the dirt and or finish falling up there. Dirt's fine if it gives me the color I want. Takes away that mottled look. Kind of like age spots on somebody's old hands. <laughs> how much smoother and neater that looks and technically it's the old finish. So the hardest one to going to do is this one that's lighter because I'm going to try and take some of the old finish from this one in the brush, both of them actually, and transfer that mud, I'll call it, and try to darken that one without any stain. If I have to do a little stain, as long as it matches perfect, it's not a huge deal for me. I'm giving away all my secrets here. That looks a lot better. Now, let's see if we can dirty this one up. Starting to activate. Still lighter. Get that to dry and I'll be able to uh, see if I can darken that with some tinting. Okay, let's try this. I uh, have a little dark walnut. I'm going to mix it in with the finish that's there. Stir it around a lot. Dark walnut tends to turn black, so I gotta be real careful not to. Uh... There's black walnut you definitely wouldn't want to use. I think this dark walnut is going to be a close enough match. I'll put a little rusty red finish on top of it and that should bring everybody to look the same once it's dry so i think i'm pretty happy with that okay i just noticed that these two drawers have that same splotchy look and i just can't very well put all those back in looking like that so i'm going to do yet again Another mix of my magic lotion, potion, <laughs> just like before, once I get rid of all the blotchiness taken care of. Scrub them in a little bit. 
let them soak. I don't want to do too much to the top. The top has good patina. So I'm just going to stop there. Now I'll let those dry a little bit. I'll get my secret weapon here. The Minwax Dark Walnut 2716. I don't even use the pan, I just use the lid. I'm very opposed to sandpaper, of, I think I've may have mentioned in other videos. I'd rather do this. This is actually reversible for the most part. I don't see why you would have to unless somebody wants to refinish the whole thing. All right. Figured I'd at least show you me install the last piece of felt. I don't want you to feel felt left out. Ah, ah, that's pretty bad. Now that is a true dad joke. Had I only ever been a dad, unfortunately I haven't. My kids would be rolling their eyes right now. I've cut these to fit very carefully. Glue it a little heavy, poke it in on all the edges, and then kind of, if there's any slack or excess, kind of take it within and uh, it will dry perfectly flat. Unless you have a hairbrush or a lump or a glue or something that's not flat, of course, it won't. So. There's that. Now I got all the felt in, and I did notice while I was doing the felt that some of the drawers, particularly the top four, have little grooves here. Whoops. Better get you up where you can see. Little grooves. So that means a rounded piece of oak or probably basswood or something would fit in there and divide the box. This one here, I guess the top one did not have any dividers, but the top small drawers has a divider here to here, and this drawer had a divider from here to here, here to here. So I'm going to see if I can find some scrap lumber around here and try to put those back. Oh, I see this one down here I forgot to mention. Goes from here to here, but then this one goes from here and stops there. So I'm going to play around and see if I can rebuild those at my expense. It's not something the owner asked me to do, but it's something I haven't done, and I think it'll be kind of fun to play around with. So let me go find some lumber and see what I can do. Okay, well I found some pine boards that are for shelf backing. You can put them on walls. They're 3 8 thick. And I uh, cut one down, sliced it on the table saw, and look at this. Just slide in there, perfect. A little tiny bit of stain maybe. Or I could just leave them alone because I don't want to look like I faked it, but I don't like them so bright. Okay, let's, let's see if I can swing you around here without making you dizzy. And you can kind of see how I'm... Nothing too fancy, but it's rounded that way. So I found a little bit of stain. I just can't leave those look so raw. He may take them out and throw them away anyway, which is acceptable. Some sample pieces. Let's see. This is called Provincial. 
Let that soak for just a minute. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Works for me. I just put a couple tacks in there to hold this one together because it's So I think that looks that looks close enough. I don't want them to look too new, but I don't want to fake experiment with the outside of the case. I really would like to paint it and then uh, wax it with a nice buff it out so it's not shiny at all. And uh, I think that might be a really cool way to make this stand out without looking redone. But I'll have to do a little sample test for him. So if I put a very light coat to cover those white dots of a spray that I happen to know of that is flat enough and very durable, it will, uh, once it's dry really well, and I wax it. I think it'll look spectacular. I can go slide these in and get a um, stiffer brush here. That may... I don't want to use air compressor, otherwise I might blow dust up in the air. And it goes this way. If you ask me, they're not the lines don't line up. Maybe that's why the person before took those out because they don't line up particularly well. So it looks kind of um, off kilter. But again, I didn't charge him, I just did it for fun. So if he doesn't like them, they can come out and go in the trash or the kindling box for fire. All right, I am going to put some finish on the fronts of these and uh, put the handles back on the drawers that I refinished gently without permission. Just convince him when I'm not done trying to let me paint this thing and wax it. I think it could look spectacular. Now when this goes up with that open, oh, I can't close it. These will push down. I got the handles all the way in. One. Yep. So anyway, this is a Gershner box. You saw it before. It certainly looks better. Okay. Another one in the books. Thanks for watching.